Okay, a number of heroes in tonight's uh, victory for the Oregon Ducks, but wow, a tip-in, as they say, in the nick of time, the buzzer beater tip-in. You don't see that play too often, but you produced it tonight. You sent the team into overtime, the game into overtime, and then you guys win it. Uh, you know, you know, I knew that was going to uh when I got the ball into TP's hand, uh, I knew he was going to shoot it either three or two. So, uh, you know, I was thinking in my mind that I was just going to follow him and uh, go to the rebound. And it came off, and, um, you know, I got the I, – I knew that there was around two seconds left, so the only way I could do was tip it in. So, you know, I was hoping for the good result at the end. Yeah. This was a game, as, as they say, of, of, mo of uh, momentum and uh, swings. And it looked like the Ducks were going into the second half – with a nice momentum and a good lead, but lo and behold, they woke up with some three-pointers. They definitely did. You know, that's, that's the game of basketball is swings. And, um, you know, I, I thought we played really well in the first half, uh, and the Cougars played really well in the second half. They, they shot the three really well, but uh, I thought we showed tremendous, you know, toughness at the end. Okay, E.J. Singer, you uh, had a very good all-around game. You look at the stats, and you're there with double figures, a lot of rebounds, a lot of just being busy on the court. What was Coach Kent's philosophy tonight and the approach to the game? Uh, just be tough, man. Be tough on the floor uh, and make plays. Um, and you know, if you if you make plays, you know, things things will happen, and you get open shots, you get rebounds, and uh, you know, I just I'm just so happy that we can move on and play Cal tomorrow. We uh, also wanted to highlight the work of uh, your teammate Teandre Williams. He was very effective in the first half. Very there. effective. Um, you know, he showed his athletic ability, and uh, you know, he, he he sparked our team. I thought in the second half, and uh, you know, it was a big game for Teandre. Um, the Ducks have a lot of good role players. Uh, Coach uh, Ken had some rotations that uh, fans were looking and saying, "Whoa, was it, this player's coming in," but he contributed. Everyone that came in did something good tonight. Definitely, and we're going to need more contributors um, as we move. And uh, because uh, you know the tournament's hard and it's it's rough on our bodies, and uh, we need a lot of players to you know help us. As you said, rough on your bodies. You got to go get that rest, get your meal, and turn in for tonight. Get ready for Cal tomorrow, the Cal Bears. That's right. They're a good team, number one team in the Pac-10, and uh, you know I I think we're going to come in and uh, you know play our best. Okay. Thank you very much for the Thank interview, you. E.J. Singer. Okay, one of the heroes in tonight's victory for the Oregon Ducks, Tawan Porter, um, 32 points on fire, always coming through in the clutch when Coach Kent needed that bucket. And we also want to highlight, as we mentioned, Teandre Williams, who had a very good game with 11 points. E.J. E. Singer contributed 11 points also in the game. But a lot of good team effort here shown by the Oregon Ducks. They didn't wilt under the pressure. They uh, went into overtime and in the second five minute period they came back and took the lead and kept it all the way to the end so uh final score here the oregon ducks 82 washington state cougars 80 the cougars go home the ducks stay in town for one more game they take on number one seed cal bears tomorrow in an afternoon game here at staples center so that will do it for day number one here at staples center covering the pacific life Pac-10 tournament for Eric Sarney, producing, directing Rico Cabrera Jr., help, helping out as our production assistant, and yours truly, Rico Cabrera, bringing you the interviews and the commentary. Thanks for watching, and get ready for day number two. It's going to be a long day here, four full games, two sessions, one in the afternoon, and then one in the evening. We'll be back here with more of East LA Sports Scene.com, bringing you the action from the Pac-10 tournament.